Alrighty. <sighs> What's up, people of the world? It's me again, Alex Swimmer, aka AP3 Jumped, and uh, once again, I do apologize for how late the, these videos are, but um, anyway, welcome to another My Little Pony Friendship is Magic re review. Today, I'm reviewing uh, Season 9, Episode 5, I think. Yeah, Episode 5, and man, it's called. Uh, the point of no return. Now, this has a very interesting plot that, upon first glance, you wouldn't think wor would work for an entire episode, but they made it work. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the plot, it's about Twilight finding out that she has had an overdue book after all these years, and she's trying to get it back. And that, it actually, a long story short, it winds up being, it winds up turning out to be a very interesting journey. And there's honestly. The, the plot itself is very interesting, and it has a little bit of mystery to it. Because the Twilight and Spike, uh, do mostly Twilight, because he, she drags Spike along with him. And, uh, she's trying to find, find answers to the, as, to the whole solution. And, the, I think you know what I'm saying. But yeah, that, why, that's very fun to watch. And the outcome... It came out, uh, I believe that outcome came out pretty good. And because at the end it showed off a very important lesson. Because you know what the book wound up being? It was a book, in, it was a book entitled Perfection, An Impossible Endeavor, or something like that. It said something similar to that. So yeah, that was basically the theme of the whole episode, and you know this theme r really resonates with me personally because you know my whole life I I strive to be perfect because I'm a perfectionist, and I've had to learn the hard way that you know being perfect is Im impossible, and uh, I still have difficulty with that to this day where I. Always try to be perfect and try to do everything, you know, just right. And it backfires because you just simply can't do that. That's just impossible. So you have to basically work with what you have and accept that having be, being imperfect is okay. And, you know, you learn more from your mistakes than you do your successes. And that's one of the most important life lessons that this show has had in in a long time. And, you know, I really love this episode for that. And, uh, yeah, it's just one of those rare les lessons that, like, really resonates with me. And, uh, you know, hits close to home. And, uh... Not that I'm not I'm sound saying that like it's a bad thing, but it's not. And you know, I it, it's good to have that. It, you know, the, it, this episode reminded me of that fact that it's okay to not be perfect. As a matter of fact, you you should not be perfect. You should not try to be perfect. Otherwise, you will fail miserably in the process. And it's great to have that reminder. You know. And, uh, that is it for the story. I love the story of the episode. Now, as for other miscellaneous things, there are some, there's some, there's some fan service in this episode. Uh, Derby returns, and at, at the beginning of the episode, she speaks again, because uh, throughout this past season or two, she's been, ha her, and all, and most of her appearances, she's had speaking roles. <laughs> like she did in Slice of Life, and very early in, like, season one. So, yeah, uh, every, I, I love derby just like everybody else. Uh, I wish I was wearing my derby shirt, but I'm just wearing a green shirt. I'll wear it next time. I, I'll wear it, I'll wear it in, in, in the future, I promise. But, yeah. Uh, we also get to see the return of, um, uh, I forget her name. The, the, this, this one uh, pony's a restaurant in uh, Canterlot. It's like on, uh, an Indian restaurant. I cannot remember her name for the life of me, but yeah, so that's it, that makes for interesting continu continuity. I'm trying to think of what other things returned in the episode. Uh, I 
having a hard time remembering what else was in there besides that. I think I saw Grand Pair, but I'm not sure. And uh, also, another thing I want to point out is something <laughs> really bizarre. That, that one of the activities that the seniors do is like basically an equivalent to paintball. And their version of paintball is throwing a bunch of uh, rotten fruit at, a, at, at one another. <laughs> That's really freaking awesome. Yeah. So, uh, I don't really have anything else to say, uh, under the fact that I love this episode, the, 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 I love the lesson so much, it, it hits, it hits home for me, and, uh, yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better lesson. It's one of those lessons that not only resonates with, uh, not, not only kids can understand, but also adults can really resonate with as well, and I love episodes that, you know cater to both audiences at the same time with with their lessons and yeah i i'm if you like this um video then don't forget to subscribe be sure to hit the bell to be notified of future videos i make if you like this episode let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below and if if there's anything i missed also let me know in the comment section below like in easter eggs or just any other plot details i forgot to talk about but yeah, stay tuned for the next review, and uh, which will be uh, season nine, episode six. Anyways, I am Alex Wimmer, aka AP3 Jumped. Thank you so much for watching until the end. That is it for me, and I will see you soon. Goodbye. Can't believe I'm wearing Cappy in a My Little Pony video. <laughs> Freaking believable.